Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Advanced Workflows. The module contains exercises intended to help a ProjectWise Administrator become familiar with advanced workflows by utilizing the Workflow Rules Engine. The exercises will be conducted from the point of view of a BIM manager working at a consulting firm who is supporting a highway design project team. During this course, you will learn how to model a document review process with a ProjectWise Advanced Workflow. In this module, you will learn key terms and concepts related to advanced workflows. Understand how to gather requirements for advanced workflows. Prepare data source for an advanced workflow. Configure advanced workflow in Excel and implement advanced workflow for testing. Let's consider a real life example. Viadotus is designing an interchange using ProjectWise and Open Roads Designer. His team wants to conduct a peer review before handing the model over to the structural engineer for a cross-discipline review. The project manager needs to initiate a new major revision if the new model needs adjustments for constructability. The ProjectWise administrator can model this non-linear workflow using an advanced workflow that utilizes the workflow rules engine. Let's see what each user should expect. To initiate a peer review, Valuedotus logs into the data source and browses to the folder. He then sets the workflow to advanced design workflow. The documents are put into the work in progress state. He then would review each document in the appropriate application, such as Open Roads Designer. When Viadotus checks the corridor ramp C model, he finds that the model does not match up with the Route 97 corridor. Back in ProjectWise Explorer, he enters a reject reason and saves the document attributes. He then rejects the document from the change state menu. A new version is created and given a new minor revision number. Viadotus has reviewed the other models, and all seems well. He fills in the check by attribute for all of them at once using the modify tool. He then approves all at once and verifies that the submitted by attribute is populated and that the state changes to pending approval for each document. Viadotus notifies Melissa that she can now review his work. Melissa logs into the data source and browses to the folder. She would then review each document in the pending approval state in the appropriate application, such as OpenBridge Designer. When Melissa checked the Church Road geometry model, she found that the Church Road geometry does not clear ramp C due to a bent in her OpenBridge model. Back in ProjectWise Explorer, she enters a reject reason and saves the document attributes. She then rejects the document from the chain state menu. A new version is created and given a new minor revision number. Melissa reviewed the Route 97 models and all seems well. She approves them all at once and verifies that the approved by attribute is populated and that the state changes to approved for each Route 97 document. Now that some roadway models are approved, Lizzie can do her constructability review. Lizzie logs into the data source and browses to the folder. She would then review each document in the approved state in the appropriate application, such as Open Bridge Designer, or from a design review session in the Project Sci model. Lizzie knows that Viadotus's team is reworking the Ramp C corridor. Therefore, the Route 97 corridor needs to be revised. Lizzie enters a reject reason, then rejects the document from the change state menu. A new version is created and given a new major revision number. In the first video, you will learn key terms and concepts related to advanced workflows. In the next video, you will learn how to gather requirements for advanced workflows. In the next seven videos, you will prepare a project-wise data source 
for an advanced workflow. The next eight videos are dedicated to learn how to configure advanced workflows in Excel. In the last set of videos, you will learn how to implement an advanced workflow for testing. The last video wraps up the whole module. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.